Of course he looks up to you. I have visited him once or twice now, and Jake seems to be in need of a good role model. This is your chance to show your mother just how much you've grown up and progressed. I'm not too sure about that. You were given a 15-year stint in here. And because you kept to yourself and showed great improvement, you were given an early release. That's amazing. You should be very proud of yourself. Proud of myself for being the best of a bad one. You're a free man now. Get your arse out there and make something of yourself. Like you said, you're just going to be a drop in the ocean now. So you've nothing to prove or no one to prove it to. Just prove it to yourself, will you? That you're worth a second chance. Look, honey, I'm exhausted. Can we not just relax and let the food digest? Have a bit of quiet time, you know? We can do the dishes tomorrow. You know how much I fucking hate the ballet. A crowd of gobshites jumping around in tights like it's a medieval techno show. It's a fucking nightmare. I'm sitting here in a cold sweat going, when the fuck is this nightmare going to be over? You don't need to tell me, son. His name is on everyone's lips. Every week he's in the paper linked to some drug dealer or murder. But he never gets caught. Keeps himself very clean, that fella. Hopefully someday he'll mess up. Oh, he will. They always do. He's either going to be caught or killed. Frankly, either one of them would make me happy. You make me very nervous, Rich. You should be, man. If I was you, I'd get in that fucking car and I'd get the fuck out of here, man. Mm. i gather up all them goonies and get what you have coming because I'm going to hit every last fucking one of them. I don't like being threatened, Rich. I'm not threatening you, man. This is beyond fucking words. I watched over you in your sleep last night. And I was that close to your throat, and slicing that open. You're there, mate. You're fucking there. So why don't you get in that car and fuck off? <laughs>